so I've done it I've done the look you wanted the simple eye and red lips I hope this eye is simple enough for you to me it's quite simple I just feel like you need gel liner to go with your red lips uh, this lipstick is gorgeous I don't think I could wear it out unless it was night out um, it's very comfortable I love it one thing you will see later you definitely need a lip liner because I had real trouble to make it nice and even and I also have done my big voluminous curls they are a bit different to what I normally do because I've used bigger barrel I hope you like my Christmas deco there um, you might have noticed that uh, in my last video that I did where I reviewed the bag I had a little Christmas tree there and I absolutely hated it I didn't put any effort into that tree I think because I was so busy with doing everything else but I couldn't look at it so I've changed it all um, and I really love it okay so if you want to see how I achieved this look keep on watching okay I'm going to put um, my concealer on my eyes first and I'm just using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 10 I usually use that as my eye primer as long as you powder it, you'll be fine. I'm going now to powder it with something matte and light. Um, I'm going to use Blanc Type from MAC. I know this, you ask for simple eye with red lips but I don't know how simple I can promise you <laughs> you know what I'm like with my eyes funny thing is most days I wear pretty simple eye makeup but when I do a tutorial I almost feel like simple look it's boring <laughs> there is no need for a tutorial for simple look but anyway um, now so I'm going to work on my crease my pretend crease I will take my favourite um, brush which is the Blank Canvas Cosmetics E42 I actually wanted to buy more, I think I have three of them I love them because they have a point um, but I looked at their website and all their brushes have sold out I suppose uh, because of Christmas okay so what shall I do I think I'm going, to, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do so I'm making it up as I go along. I think I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Wheat. I haven't used this for a long, long time and it is a very, you know, uninteresting shade but very good for doing a crease. But um, yeah, I'm not going to do that with the blank canvas. I'm going to take, for this I'm going to take MAC 217. just to add depth to my eye and I will have to hide my hood but I will try to do it as simple as, as simple as I can I think I'm going to put liner on gel liner because I don't know I think there is something about red lip and Gel like well eyeliner. I think I'm going to warm this look up a bit with Swiss chocolate, which is MAC as well. And now I will take the blank canvas cosmetics E42 and just 
just go right on and under my socket bone. As you can see my Botox is uh, wearing off. I can move my eyebrows a bit better and that's exactly how I like it, just like this. So I still don't have all the wrinkles showing but I can move, I can, you see how much more I can stretch my eye now and it's so much easier to do the makeup on. And I'm not going down here, I'm sort of almost flicking it because I will try to connect my liner with this. You know what I really want to do? Slap on glitter on my eye. <laughs> but I promised you something more simple. I think I'm going to leave it there, believe it or not. I might put something a bit more shimmery on my lid. <laughs> yes, I am. I can't resist it. Sorry, I'm going to put a bit of Makeup Geek for eyeshadow starry eyed, but I'm not going to pack it in like I normally do. Just a bit, so I have a bit of shimmer. Oops. Because... You know I like it. Okay. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to do my bottom lash line. You know I usually would do this next. But I am going to do a liner now. So one of my favourite gel liners is, although you know I haven't used any uh, liquid gel liners for a long time because I, because of the Botox and my eyes were, um, quite droopy so you wouldn't see it anyway but when I do use it I love the Ilamasca one in um, Infinity and I use for this MAC 263 starts off in the middle in very short backward strokes so do that first And little flick so I sort of want to go towards that eyeshadow and then I will connect it back there that's quite a good wing and I might go a tiny bit here at the bottom. I'm going to do the other eye now. Okay, I think they are pretty even. I think I'm going to put a bit of that, um, what colour was that? Swiss chocolate on the bottom here, my lash line. I don't know, I feel very naked when I don't have any eyeshadow under here. And then mascara. So that's all for the eyes. I don't know if I should wear lashes. Maybe I do it without lashes because then that stops being simple. <laughs> okay. And that's my eyes done. I hope this is simple enough. Let's do this lip now. I am so scared. So, as you remember, I bought the Zoeva Velo lips in Blue Blood. And I think it's a beautiful red. Let's see. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. And maybe, <clears throat> I thought for this look, I would curl my hair. But not as tight as I normally do. Not with the smaller barrel. I do it with the fatter barrel. We will see. But let's do the lips. So I'm going to take some out and 
really wipe it off because you don't want to put too much at first and also I don't possess red lip liner so I can't use lip liner I have to use this as a lip liner but it's a nice brush so here we go My hand is shaking, so it's not going to be even. <laughs> Can you see, I even wiped it off and I still have so much colour on it. You definitely want lip liner, unless you've got very, very steady hand. <laughs> and I don't have one, so I need to now get a red lip liner but these are gorgeous they are so comfortable can you see it sort of dries matte but as the name says it's very velvety and when i put my lips together it feels so comfortable really really nice so i think i will curl my henna okay so i am going to use the irresistible me sapphire 18 one wand i love this thing and normally i use this thickness i don't know maybe this is an inch i suppose and um, this is probably i don't know two inches inch and a half this is the fattest one so if i want more relaxed uh, curls i will use the fattest one and that's what i fancy today i think So let's separate the top bit, then another bit, I don't know if I'm going to do more, no probably not, that's a good look, big roots, so I'm going to take quite big sections, like I said I want this, these to be a bit more relaxed and I'm curling away from my face you've seen me doing it millions of times and I even have a dedicated tutorial how I curl my hair and it is always linked in in a description box under every video now so if you want to see how I curl my hair then have a look at that Okay, so I have curled my hair. As you can see, the curls are a bit looser than my usual ones because I've done it with a um, bigger wand. So now I'm going to arrange it somehow. I usually just shake my hair because I like it to look like an artistic mess. I usually back comb a bit. here I don't know what's going on with that fringe I think because I had a central parting middle parting when I started off so it's trying to get back to that so I so pick the curls and separate them And then I take my Joico 08 finishing spray. I just bought it to try it because I've run out of my um, TG1, you know, but I don't like it as much as my TG1, so I won't be buying another one of those. And then I'm going to take Kenra Volume 25 and lift the curves and spray underneath because that gives you a lot of volume I think also um, curling your hair with bigger iron I mean bigger barrel gives you that volume wow va va vum <laughs> okay I don't know how I feel about this fringe I'm getting a bit hot, I'm feeling really flushed, 
so it's not my <laughs> it's not my blush I am feeling flushed okay so that's the finished look I love the, the color of this red lipstick but honestly I don't think I could go out like this yes for the night out definitely to a Christmas party but every day no way I would feel so I don't know in your face and definitely you need a lip liner you know I don't have the smallest lips but you will still very very hard to um, do it nicely just with the lipstick you need a liner but I don't have one so hopefully from the distance you can see that it's not that even uh, yes yeah, so I think that's quite a simple eye <laughs> it is very simple for me I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.